Hello, citizens. Uh, <laughs> welcome to uh, a very different kind of Leader Game Studio stream. Today we are playing a game of Oath with all of the new Foundation stuff. I'm going to be playing the Chancellor. My name's Cole, and I'm joined by two uh, rascal exiles, Andrea and Clay. No silly voices, just silly looks. Yeah. That's, right. <laughs> That's right. Um, okay, so what we're going to do today is a little different than our usual gameplay stream. We're going to go through the end of one game, the setup and the beginning of the next game, and then we'll go right into probably the conclusion of that, of that second game. Uh, and we're playing with three players just to keep the game time a little short, so it shouldn't even take that long. Um, what we've done here on the table is already kind of slightly pre-set up uh, the, the game that follows. In this game that we're playing, I have just won. It's the second game I've won in a row. And we're going to do some of the teardown. Uh, we are going to be showing things from every kit, including the kit that we're going to be releasing this time. So uh, let's start by talking about what happens when the game ends. So there are three cards in the next kit, the Foundations kit, which replace the Chronicle Aid, that big sheet from the base game. Uh, the first one are ta is a set of tasks that's, that's completed by the person who actually wins the game. The second is a set of tasks completed by the person who has the people's favor. And the third is completed by the player who has the darkest secret. So in this game, I won, and I won with the people's favor. So I actually get both of these tasks to do. And then Andrea had this Shape the Foundations. She had the darkest secret, so she's going to take this third card. Now there's a golden rule uh, of these cards, which is only one player, uh, rather each player can only do one of these tasks, tasks. So if a player ends with more than one, they're forced to give this away. In this case, I would give this to Clay. Um, for the purposes of this stream, we're not going to talk about how the Denizen deck evolves and all that. We already have a deck um, set up and it would just be us shuffling cards for a bit, so not quite stream worthy. So I'll take this one to the side and talk a little bit about what the winner does when they govern. So basically, what the winner does when, when they govern is they're going to have a set of Empire cards, which were left over from their first game. And let me get some of those out right here. There we are. So here are the Empire cards that were left over from the start of the first game. These were game, uh, cards that I used to, to win successfully with. Um, the way these cards work is they've already been resolved at the end of the game. So really what we're just doing is cleanup. And the only choice that the player who won the game has is whether or not they want to banish this Empire card. If they banish it, they will set it aside. In this case, I have banished uh, this Edifice Builder who builds uh, hearth edifices. So I'm going to ha have banished that card. I will then draw two cards from the supply and I will elect the one that I want to add to the Empire stack. This gets played in, and then all of these cards are going to get shuffled with the other Empire ca cards elsewhere. So that's the first thing that I do. Um, then we, we move on after I've completed that phase, and we would go to the People's Favor. We're, we're, again, we're not going to show that, and then we move to Andrea's. So Andrea, let's put the darkest secret here. So Andrea has the um, Shape the Foundations Chronicle phase task, and there are four secrets on this. This determines how many cards Andrea gets to draw from the foundation deck. So you can go ahead and draw three cards from that deck. Okay. All right. Should I show them? Yeah, you can show okay. them. Okay. So this, these three right here. And as Andrea looks at them, I'll just say a quick word about what, what's happening here. So we have a little deck of foundation cards which determines how players can change the rules of the game through the course of play. So Andrea is faced with three choices. Rise of the Six Houses will change the People's Favor from the Banner of the People's Favor to the Sigil of the People's Favor. The Vision of Visions Foundation will allow the player with the Darkest Secret to arrange the Order of Visions in the deck. And the Order of Secrets will change the dar Banner for the Darkest Secret with the Sigil to the Darkest Secret. So which one of these do you want to choose? I'll pick this one. Okay. So what the Rise of the Six Houses does is over here, we have the banner of the people's favor, and that banner is going to get removed, and it goes back to the archive, and it's replaced with the alternate people's favor. This is the sigil of the people's favor. 
Now we're going to spend just a moment to talk about how this works. So this sigil doesn't use favor in the usual way that favor is used on the other one. Instead, we're going to be using influence. Uh, the game will include with a uh, will we'll include a generic currency that can be used to mark different values. We're using these coins from uh, Old King's Crown because I like that game. Uh, and we're, so we're going to be using these big tokens as fives and these small tokens as ones. The value on this uh, sigil will depend on the influence of the holder. So you'll see there's a wake effect right here, which just says at the start of your turn, you're going to update it to reflect your influence. Your influence is the sum of your favor plus the value of your advisors, with every advisor having value equal to their bank. Um, the way you recover this is you have to have more influence than the current person who holds it. And the search effect, which allows you to, to replace cards when you play them, is the exact same search effect as the other, as the other people's favor. So that's what Andrea has just put in the game. Now, the, there's a consequence for putting that in the game, which is we have to then put in the off switch. So you'll see on the rise of the six houses, it says if you want to mix in this, that's fine. But then you also have to mix in the card that turns it off. This is the fall of the six houses. So this gets mixed into the foundation's deck. These other non-picked cards go into the foundation's deck. And then this card gets archived because we don't need it anymore. So that would be the end of that step. This sigil of the people's favor goes in. Its base value is going to be four. And then Andrea gets to choose what she wants the active oath to be. There's that. Uh, so. <laughs> and we'll keep it as the people's favor. <laughs> Perfect. Seamless. Um, <laughs> so the reason why Andrea might want to have chosen this particular favor actually has to do with her lineage. So if you want to take and show your, put your trait over here, Andrea at the end of last game would unlocked Nomad Friend, which is giving her an extra advisor uh, in the nomad people. So this is just extra influence, which means she's particularly well appointed to work on getting the people's favor for this for this game. Okay? So we can take that back. Uh, at the start of the game, then, as we move towards the start of the game, I'm going to take this sigil of the people's favor, because I'm the chancellor. Uh, we'll put that over there. Okay. And then the Banner of the Darkest Secret, we'll start with one. Now, after everyone has finished their little task that is on their chronicle turn, or on the, their chronicle card, after all three cards have been resolved, on the back of the card are the teardown instructions. This includes things like adjusting the map, filling in the sites with empty sites, refreshing the relics, all that kind of stuff. So it, that is imagined as a cleanup step, whereas the active stuff is on, is on the front. Okay, so that is how the foundation system works in short. We now go to the start of the game. We've already set up our play positions. We haven't chosen our starting cards. And we've also dealt everybody their immature trait with a quest that's on top of it. For example, I have the popular trait that I'm trying to uh, unlock. And if I win the game as Oathkeeper, that's my little quest. I will get to hold on to that. Um, one other thing that happens at the end of the game now is we are experimenting with a world without the Reliquary. The Reliquary isn't part of the game. Instead, at the end of every game, if the Chancellor wins, they can take one of their relics that they finish the game with and seed it in a stack that is the Reliquary, which they can use to bribe citizens with. So we'll, we'll talk more about that perhaps later on in play, but you can see that my little Empire's Reliquary is right, is right here. So because all of the Chancellor traits are now being handled in different ways, we don't really need that system to be built into the old Reliquary system anymore. Um, and we'll see how that shakes out in development. Okay. So now, let's talk about the Empire phase. So at the very start of the game, I'm going to draw four Empire cards. Now, in the original game, these are go or in the real game, these are going to be tiles. But as I've mentioned elsewhere, uh, we have them as cards because it's so much easier to print and cut cards. There we are. So here are the four things that I've drawn. These Empire tiles include tiles that I uh, unlocked in the previous game. That if I banish someone, some of the cards that I might have gained might come up in this, in this initial draw. Now I have to go through these and either resolve them or turn them face down. 
and we're going to take these one at a time. So the first thing here is we have these road builders. Road builders lets me swap any two sites. So what I'm going to do actually is swap the Fertile Valley with the Deep Woods. I'm no. Move, I'm moving the capital. <laughs> can you give me the three cards that are associated with this? And you can fan those out. This happens, by the way, before we actually set up our player positions. So the notion that like these top site of the cradle gets two war bands is preserved. So these are still going to hang out here. So I've used my road builders. Good. And then supporters is going to add three favor to the arcane bank. So could you add three favor to the arcane bank, Clay? And then any citizen and the chancellor, all of us have an extra arcane advisor. That we just It's a virtual advisor. We've always got it. <coughs> All right, now we have the long piece. So this one has no effect, which is nice because it is going to give me six legacy points. And we'll talk about those in just a second. And then lastly, I have a decree. So if I make this decree, exiles will have to spend one supply, an additional su supply to campaign. So this will make it harder for you all to campaign. However, by doing that, it's going to add a shadow denizen to the site. I'm not crazy about this card. I also kind of want to kick it out of my hand. So I'm going to turn it face down. Now at this point, I look to see how many face down cards or cursed cards I have. I have one. And so that is gonna add one Shadow Denizen. In this case, we have the Discontented <coughs> Masses. This is a card that destabilizes the game. So basically, the more the people's favor moves around, the richer the players become in political capital. So go ahead and put that card on the farthest site on the board. So we see the Great Slum on the edge of the Hinterland is starting to fill up with scary cards. Last game, we had the Arcane Hunter there, and now they're joined by some Discontented Masses. There we go. You got it. <laughs> we'll come hang there, hang there later. Okay, so these cards are now going to stay here, and now I have to see how my reign is going. So I'm going to add up all these values. I've got 2, 4, plus 6 is 10, plus 2 for the Hall of Debate Edifice. So that uh, adds a glorious 12 years to my reign. Yes. 12 Everyone years. cheers. The people are cheering. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Ah. And the idea is that this is a number that you can use if you're trying to come up with like a limited tournament system. If you just want some way to record your progress in the world and to like capture how long the, the different dynasties have been going. Uh, and we're still trying to figure out precisely the different ways that this number can interact with things. But we wanted to give players a number that they could do whatever they wanted to with. Mm -hmm. So now these cards over here, they don't go away. Some of them have persistent abilities like these arcane supporters. And so I'm just going to be keeping them kind of over here on the side, the side of play. This is also why we wanted them to be tiles because they can just kind of sit on the actual side of play. And now we are ready to pick our starting cards and begin the game. All right. So I have to start and I am going to pick as my advisor this card. I can't tell who the chancellor is. Oh, sorry. Yes. Um, <coughs> <laughs> is that easier? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now, I'm sorry. Now we're ready to play. Now we're ready to play. <laughs> and I, I want to keep this look. I just want everybody to know I'm into it. And I'm not, I'm not going down. Well, if you think you're going to rule as chancellor a whole nother time, we have another thing coming. Yeah. Uh, okay, so I'm going to be picking this for my starting card. These are going there. And then my meatball goes into the deep woods. Okay, I'll pick this card. I will start. Start here. The Fertile Valley. All right. Okay, so I'm sensing arcane in this game, so yeah. I am going to reveal, or I'll, I'm going to, yeah. I'm going to place up in the cradle. There you go. Okay, all the way here, and then, and then I'm going to discard, discard my two cards right there. right there. All right, and now we are ready to start. So we are playing. This is for the people's favor. The people's favor starts with a value of four. At the start of my turn, I actually have to reset it to be my current influence. In this case. My influence is only two because this card is currently face down, and so its value will slightly decrease on the first turn. So it is liable to be stolen from me early on. Yes. We're, we're going we're gonna to get this figured out. It's not a big problem. All right, and I, you know, I'm worried about the advisor game, and so I'm going to start by, on my turn, going to reveal my little acting troop. 
It's a minor action. Uh, the Axing Troop is a card that can act like a Beast card or a uh, Order card instead. Very useful for sneaking uh, money out of the Beast Bank. I'm then going to go on a little sojourn. I'm going to spend two supply to move out to the Fertile Valley. I'm going to spend a secret to trade with the Roving Terror. The Roving Terror. The Acting Troop is going to act like a Beast card. So I'm going to gain two favor from the Beast suit. I'll happily take that. Sorry, Beast. All Someone right. brought up a good point. What's because that? of the virtual advisor, do you get six? Oh, I do get I, oh, not six. I get uh, three. Three. So I'll take one more. No, from your initial influence. Oh, yes, correct, correct, correct. Sorry. For my next, well, actually, my initial influence <laughs> on this is going to be a lot higher. Thank you for that point. The initial influence would have been two plus my virtual uh, little supporters, and that bank is at six, so it would be eight. There you go. That's right. And there will probably be little punch board reminders for these virtual, um, these virtual advisors because they are going to be really important. Um, okay, so there's that. I have taken my move. I have now traded. I, I think I want to do a search action. Ooh, maybe. We're going to take a search action. So I'm going to draw one, two, three cards. And I will put those cards maybe over here so people can see. Oh. I... I'm going to take this Herald. I think the Herald might be the key. These will get discarded into the provinces. Thank you. And this goes face down. I'm just going <coughs> to keep it in my, my back pocket. And then for my last two actions, like every good chancellor, I'm going to go back home. And that is the end of my turn. Oh, thank you. OK. Um, I'm just I'm going to reveal my advisor right now. And then I will trade with the storyteller. Get two. Mm -hmm. Or uh, you. Yeah. Yep. You get how many advisors do you have? She's got one. Oh, you got one. Sorry, yeah. I didn't see it behind the candle. Yeah, <laughs> the candles are very tall. <laughs> <laughs> and then. Then I'll trade again. I'll trade again. Use that money to get another secret. Okay. There you are. Thank you. Reluctantly. Um. I need a scepter, Patrick, if I'm going to be on the cover <laughs> of any copy of Kalis. Trade. And then I'll campaign for the site. Campaigning for the site? Yeah. Let's do it. All right, yep. start things up. Might as well. Okay. So are you just targeting the site? Just the site. Okay. Yeah. So hand me one blue dice. I'm going to look if I have any battle plans. I have the fire talkers under my control, mm -hmm. but I do not control the darkest secret, so it's no use to me right now. Okay. I will not use my battle plan because I'm too poor. All oh. right. Fine. You ready? Yep. Okay. Throw your dice here, maybe. Okay. So you can put it on my camera. All right, uh, that's not good enough. Two to four, you've got me. You do take one loss. Yep. All right, excellent, <laughs> and congratulations. Take, it's mine now. <laughs> um, can't really do anything else. I'll, I'll search the world deck. Clay, can I see the rules, please? One, two, three, okay. Um, this one, this photo. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Okay, and then I'll no, I'll play this to the site <coughs> so that I can get more money. Nice. Okay. Okay. And how much? And you've got one supply. I have one left. more. I'll just leave it. You leave it. Yep. All right. You can refresh your supply. And then Clay. Yep, you're going to take your secret oh, back yeah. and the 
The money is the money will go to the beast bank. Okay, so during setup, I actually start with an extra secret because of the arcane instruction. All right. So I'm going to take advantage of that right away. Um, here I am in the cradle. So I'm going to start out by trading. And I will go ahead and I'll put a secret on the uh, th that Portal. one there. there but right go. before I do that, I'm going to reveal the alchemist advisor because I'm feeling arcane in this game. So now that I traded, I'm going to get two favor out of arcane, I believe. Yep. One favor and then one for a matching advisor. Uh, my next action, I'm going to spend a supply and trade again. This time, I'm going to get those valuable secrets. So I'm going to put two favor on back into Arcane and take another All secret. Right, there you are. Okay. And then I'm feeling, you know, the cradle, it's kind of cool to hang out in the cradle, but. This game is all about the hinterlands. I'm going to get out there. Yeah. I believe it cost me four, right? It would cost you four. four. So out. it's going to be a journey, but I'm going to take it. I'm going to spend four supply. And if you could grab me my little pawn do, do, there. Do, 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 do. I'm going to travel way out to the hinterlands, and I'm going to hang out at the Great Slum. I'm all pretty right. much out of supply now, so I'm going to uh, go ahead and end my turn there. Refresh back to full. And uh, reset the board, the secret will come back to me, and yep. the and favor the will go into Arcane. Go the Arcane, Arcane Bank. And that's the end of turn one. All right, so that's there's still six favor in Arcane. So that's the end of turn one. You've gone out to cavort with the Shadow Denizens. I don't like that very much, but I'm glad you're gone. Um, let's see. So first thing I have to do, I have a wake condition on the people's favor, which is just to set its value appropriately. The Arcane Bank has six in it. I've got two arcane advisors, so this is going to be set at 12 as a base, plus I have an additional one arcane four, advisor. Well, one plus my. Oh, advisor. plus that one. Oh, I didn't really so know. that's 12, plus I have a lovely little stack of four. So I'm going to go ahead and go up to 16. This is a lot of influence, but it's a lot of influence because the arcane bank is high and because I have a personal mm -hmm. stack. So I am in a good position to continue my. Rain and I'm interested in cleaning up those shadow denizens eventually, maybe. But what I'd really like to do is get those fire talkers working. So this turn, it's all about finding the darkest secret. So I'm going to start here and put some money over here on the fire talkers to grab two secrets, one for my acting troop, one for my supporters. And then I am going to, whoops, this needs to be reset. Uh, here. So that was that trade action. And then for my second action, I think I'm going to... Do I spend the full measure? I think so. I'm going to take an action to recover the Darkest Secret. So, covering the Darkest Secret. I will gain this, take one of the old ones, the rest of them are going to sit on top of it. So I have the Darkest Secret, and pretty securely too, which is turning on the Fire Talker, so they're now useful. Mm. Um, uh. hmm. That's right, let's see. Let's take a look. Took a look at our friend here. All right, well, I want to ex I'm a little worried about what Andrea is up to over there. I think you should worry about Clay. We're going to worry about Clay. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and... You know, Andrea is kind of threatening you in the provinces. Look, Barely. We're going <laughs> to... <laughs> first things first, I got to bring some more friends in. So I'm going to grab this. I'm going to muster two more warbands from the portal. And then I'm going to spend two supply to... Sc you know what? No, that's silly. That's silly. I think I'm going to scoot here for one. I'm going to drop off two guys, and then I'm going to scoot two to go out here and do some exploring. Expand my realm. Oh, it's the mountains. Excellent. And then we're going to put a relic there. You can adjust that. Thank you. And that brings me to the end of my turn, and it is now your turn. Okay. Um... I'm going to trade again. Trade with Nomad. And because I'm Nomad friend, I'm going to get two secrets Ooh. Um, for that trade. 
coal. Okay. Engine. Hand me two. Thank you. Hmm. Oh, uh, uh, there's a question from Stern Jaeger about the um, sigil counting arcane influence, and it's because it counts your advisors. So I've got the sig sigil of the people's favor, so my influence is right now one plus the arcane bank times two because I've got an arcane supporter, and I also have this acting troop right here. So I traded with Beast, this Beast card, <coughs> and I'm going to trade with this Hearth card again. Take that last Hearth. Point. Um, <coughs> then I will search the world deck again. So one, two. And that's the first vision. vision. Okay. Now, your action is going to be interrupted for a second because we have a hunter on the board. Mm -hmm. These shadow denizens, can I actually, uh, Andrew, why don't you hold the shadow denizen oh, we'll yeah. while you have those cards up so we can see it. Um, so that shadow denizen that Andrea's got has a yellow text on it. That yellow text means that there's an active ability. The shadow denizen in this instance, when a vision is drawn, they're going to find the nearest arcane mm -hmm. and they're going to go hunt it down. So in this case, this money should be on the arcane bank. Clay, if you could. It's the Arcane Hunter. Uh, so it's going to come kill the portal. Yep. So hand me that card. Arcane Hunter comes all the way up to the cradle and eliminates the, the portal. Because that is the nearest Arcane card to it. The portal <coughs> gets discarded to the bottom of the deck. That's not true. What am I saying? That's not how discards work in this game. This is what happens when you work on more than one game at once. Go uh, to the it's going to go no, to the provinces. The provinces. Okay, so that was that little that little trigger. We've tried to keep the interrupts for the shadow denizens very quick, very light. I'll keep the vision in my advisors. I'll go here. Then what do I want to do? <coughs> I kind of just want to. Oh, I can. Oh, I can't muster. I can't muster. I'll just end my turn there, with two supply left. That's okay. All right. Let me get all my secrets nice. back. Play. Okay, I am really not happy about the arcane hunter. Uh, so I think I need to do something about that. Even though they ran all the way back there to the cradle. Uh, so, uh, at the start of my turn, I'm going to go ahead and campaign back to the cradle. It cost me four, right? It does. So I spend four supply. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go back there. Yeah, then I will spend one supply to muster. I'll go ahead and place this on the muster with the fire talkers there. And take two more bands. the uh, shadow denizens have no suit. They can't be <coughs> discarded normally. Uh, you cannot interact with them. Shadow denizens are meant to represent things outside of the political order. There is no negotiating with them. And with my last two supplies, she'll campaign against the arcane hunter. So I'll spend two uh, to campaign against that arcane okay. hunter. I have one, two, three, four, five war bands. All right. Uh, I'll roll for the arcane hunter. Uh, can I have two blue dice? So shadow denizens can be defeated in different ways. The arcane hunter is defeated with a campaign. It has two blue dice plus three shields is its, is its roll. All right. Um, okay. All right. So I will roll. Yeah, you can roll there, Clay. There you go. I'll roll here. So the shadow denizen, uh, so we have a times two. Uh, but Times two, nothing? Right? Times two, nothing. So Woo! pretty good. Uh, and we've got one, two, three, four, five against three. You're victorious. You do have to lose one of your guys. Okay, so I'll put one now, back. Now, for defeating the Arcane Hunter, there is a prize, and this prize allows Clay to take all of the influence out of the Arcane Bank. Nice. All the favor? All the favor, sorry. It's yours. It's the jackpot. Yes! Okay, then this card one, goes two, three, away. Now it's nine favor. That's a pretty epic turn. And then, uh, I'm all out of supply, but I'm going to use my Alchemist ability because I've got secrets over here. So I'm going to activate the Alchemist by, it costs me one secret and also burning a secret. Mm -hmm. And that lets me take four favor from any favor bank or banks. 
Uh, so I will I will take four clay. more favorite one. Two, this is what it's like to three. <laughs> this is four. why I said worry about clay. So I have a bunch of favor. I'm gonna right, I'm, I'm gonna be scheming <laughs> over here what to do with all of that favor, but that, that is the end of my turn. You know what I love about having all that favor, like holding on to it? It means when I destroy you in combat, <laughs> you have to lose half. No! Mm -hmm. <laughs> Two, all right. Four, six, the eight, turn eight. now advances. Sir, We're in turn three. First to nine plus. Uh, and this is a real unfortunate thing. My poor sigil of the people's favor. Well, it's looking pretty weak right now. I have one influence for this card, or for this. My arcane cards are worth nothing. So the, inf the value of the Sigil of the People's Favor goes down to one. We drained the, the favor yeah, right out of that the arcane favor, bank. Favor out of the banks. Okay. Hmm. Now this is a bit of a puzzle. The Alchemist changes my calculations. Although you're going to run out of supply if you, you're going to run out of secrets if you keep this up. Uh, let's see. <laughs> I need to first raise an army. I've got the darkest secret. I'm strong. You're there. I, this, this is fine. Okay. So I'm going to first... Oh, this goes to the going. arcane cool. bank, which in fact does... Oh, so it does give you some so you influence. Yeah, I've got three. <laughs> yeah. that's, that's crucial. <laughs> okay, yeah, it is, it is crucial. Um, okay, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to spend two to move here, and then I'm going to muster at the Fire Talkers to grab an additional two, two Warbands, war so that brings my total to six. And now I have three supply left, and it's time to banish clay. Oh, you're going to tra target my pawn? I'm going to target your pawn. Oh this costs gosh. me two supply. Uh, targeting a pawn... Two blue dice. ...gives cl clay two blue dice. Um, I'm going to be rolling six Warband dice. All right. So the number to beat Cole is two, uh, is four. I have four warbands. So four, four plus warbands. whatever I roll. Correct. Let's right, go. We'll get go. that times two. Oh, just one. Oh, so you, you're at five. Five. My roll is one, two, three, four, five, six. I do lose a guy. Clay, uh, go. I'm banished back, back to the there, hinterlands. Go to the great slum. <laughs> and no. Half of that favor stack. Is burned. Oh, that it's was out of the game. That was pretty oh. brutal, there, Cole. Oh. <laughs> Look at all this favorite. <laughs> so much. This might be the most I've ever had. Well, for a second, for one turn, for for a moment of supply. <laughs> okay, do we round up or down here? Uh, you round. I'm almost positive you round down. I can't remember actually. Okay, we'll just, uh, I can't remember, and I'm going to double check. Thirteen. Okay. Uh, you round down. Okay, so 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 you you will keep the higher amount. You you okay. burn the amount. So you we're burn. we're burning one two three four five six favor is being removed from the game. It's so this game we game. just don't have as much economy. We started now. a little with a little bit extra, <laughs> and now I still have lower. a bunch of favor. You still have, you still have <laughs> enough to take the people's favor from me because I am pretty unpopular right now. That's right. Uh, we're gonna fix that popularity later. <laughs> um. <sighs> I think, do I want to hang here? That seems silly. I think my plan is going to be to save this last supply. So I'm going to go ahead and reset my, my supply right now. And I have here, so I'll get the one. And that is the end of my turn. It goes to Andrea. Okay. This is turn three. I'm <coughs> going to search this deck. Two, How many cards three. are in the cradle up there? Discard. Looks like, so like one. Two, one card in there? Okay. Oh, this is not what I want. Oh, you know what? I forgot to... Um, we did forget an extra blue dice. Uh, no, no, because I attacked you. I turned one. I think we forgot an extra blue dice. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah campaign, when you oh, should do a campaign here, we forgot blue dice. But we're fine. We're fine. <laughs> I'm going to search again, because I really want... Worried. I, want a I feel like card. Andy's got plans. Uh, no, I don't have any plans. It's all clay. I have played <laughs> many games with Andrea, and she <laughs> is very good at all. She's a candy player. <laughs> She's a candy player. Not ideal. This is ideal. Um, oh, well, thanks, Andrea. I'm on, I'm on the entrance. So. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to help you out. <laughs> and this is going to go to the Arcane Bank. Ooh. What do we got there? Two? Two. Yep, it's good. I'll, I'll take it. Okay. Okay. And then I'll tr 
trade. I'll trade with this horse. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> trade with the horse. And then I get, I get a secret because of Nomad Friend. Oh yeah, good job. Yep. Nice. Thank you. And then I'm gonna recover the darkest secret. Now you. you or I have to you be at four. You I have four. I have five. That's a real bummer. It's a bummer that Candle keeps not telling me. Um, <laughs> okay, now there is an important re re restriction. You can only recover it if there's a card at my site that doesn't match this. So I am fully among friends. Mm. Right here, so you can't just take it from me. I would like to. Now, does that also count for the other banner, too? I can't remember. Do I have a shot at recovering it? Um, no, no, no. The, the, this one you, you can just you take. Can recover. You, just, okay. you can just recover. Mm -hmm. All right. Next time. Clay's coming for you. It's <laughs> Okay, cool. I'm, I'm trying to, look, my kingdom's contracting <laughs> a little bit. I'm trying to hold it together. Remember, uh, because of the hall of debate, you're not allowed to battle for the people's favor, too. This is okay. A, a, that, is that I've got a little hideout going out here in the slums, but uh, yeah. I'm going to attempt to recover that people's favor banner sure. if I can. Am I able to? Uh, so you, let's count your influence. So you I've have seven, seven, and then yeah. your, your alchemist is currently worth... Two. Two. So nine, and yeah, you can totally recover. Okay, so, so I will start out with a recover action. It'll cost you one. Spend one supply. And then what's going to happen is when you recover this, it will set to your current value. Yes, so and it, I believe it triggers this as well. Yes, it does, and that means, uh, Andrea, you and I get richer by one coin. Nice. Uh, and you can just take that just coin. From yep, from the supply. Okay. Can you have one as well? Yeah. Excellent. So I believe I'm out. Seven, That's eight, something. Nine. Yeah, I'm at nine for the people's favor. Okay, so that felt very successful. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to search the... Uh, I might as well search up here. I'm going to spend two supply to go ahead and search here. So I'm going to draw three cards. And I'm going to try to... I'm going to put one of these into play. It's just a matter of which one. Um, blah, blah, blah. How about an awesome battle plan? Let's do that. All right, so I will play that card to the site. Discard these up to the cradle. Okay, you don't rule that site yet. Um, well, you know, well, there's, there's time, there's uh, time. And, and I do owe you one one little thing, Clay, which is this. Oh, yes. Uh, so Clay is currently, currently the, the Oath Keeper. Um, yeah, the Oath Keeper, I mean, yes. And w now, uh, Cole, that's an excellent point. I need to own this, the, the Great Slum. If I'm, if, if this you want to use your mercenary. This is going to be my hideout. Uh, I will go ahead and campaign against the uh, the Great Slum. The bandit, all right. Yep. Uh, I got four war bands. Okay. So four dice. All right. And summon to roll one blue dice there. There you go. And you're fine. You're, you're good as gold here. Okay. So you rolled a total of three. You only had to beat a one. Okay. I will place control. two war bands there. So now I, I control that site. And then th this can hold three cards. So why not go ahead and spend two supply to search again? I'll go ahead and take one, two, three cards out of the hinterlands. And oh, boy, okay, this could change things. I'm going to go ahead and keep this card as a face-down advisor for the future. And I'll take these. For the and cradle. I'm all out of supply. That's the end of my turn. Okay, we go into turn four. We set to nine plus. <sighs> See, Clay really needs to feed it again, doesn't he? <laughs> because he's just, he's got too much favor. Um, and I also wouldn't mind... It's it's just I really feel like I might have bet on the wrong horse with these with these arcane folks. Um, so here's what we're gonna do. Uh, we are going to I'm gonna treat this turn as a recovery turn. It's a you know classic oath move. I know I can't get it back from you right away. Um, I've got a little bit of time. Um, and Andrea's got so many secrets. I'm gonna lose this. I gotta be really careful about where I move to. Because if I move to a place where I'm not fully among friends, Andrea can just sneak the sneak no, the darkest secret. Don't worry out. about Be that. amongst wolves. But I've got and while I've got fire talkers, I mean, I could almost just run out there and and have a little scrum. Or maybe that's the best. I move. mean, bring one, it. One, two, three, four, one, two. Welcome raiders. <laughs> raiders, we've been raided. Woo! Okay. Always happy. We have been always happy to get hard. more good citizens in this kingdom. All right, here we go. I'm gonna. I'm chasing Clay. 
uh, spending four supply to run out to the great slum. One, two, three, four. And then my bottom two supply I will use to attack Clay to once again banish him. No. He's trying to get rid of my favorite. Perfect. I am. I am. <laughs> that um, is perfect. And in this banishing, I will be using my fire talkers. <laughs> so I'm going to be rolling four. Sick. Six dice, no, seven dice total. So the fire talkers give me three. So four, or sorry, five for my war bands, plus three is a total of eight dice I'm rolling, and that would be a lovely roll to make. And then Clay, you are getting two blue plus one. Two blue plus one for the Oath Keepers. Now we've been preparing for this, Cole. We've been running around the Great Slums, hiring mercenaries. Okay, fine. <laughs> so, uh, Which minus is three of your red dice. That's horrible. Okay, but this is an important <laughs> battle here. Should I just roll all the dice? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so we don't, we're not throwing, we're not knocking over candles. Uh, I've got four war bands. Okay, four war bands. The defense total here is one times two, so two plus four. Number I gotta beat is six. I get one, two, three, four, five, six, and then seven. Oh, Killing my own guys the mercenaries. to make it happen. <laughs> All right, got it. Uh, good, got your mercenaries. So this is going to go to the Discord bank, but the mercenaries must be, if I'm used and defeated, I must discard the mercenaries. So, yep, so the mercenaries yep. run off to the cradle. Now, Clay, I am burning half of your favor once more. Okay, so now it, it well, now we're still rounding in my favor. So, so we're I'm losing three, three favor. It's, just, it's a start from the game. And then I'm kicking you to another hinterland site. That one's fine. Do I reveal it immediately? Yep, you reveal it immediately. All right, the hidden place. Relic. Uh, relic. relic. Oh, and now we need a relic. Just one? Yep. Okay, excellent. Uh, Clay, can you hand me the two play rates? I just want to... Um, we've just revealed the hidden place, which is one of these sites. This is not the ones I need. Uh, oh, sorry. Sorry. There we <laughs> no, you're, go. You're good. You're good. You're good. <laughs> um, I just want to make sure I get the wording of this precisely. The hidden place. You cannot travel here or, de or declare campaign targets here unless you flip one of the secrets on your board face down. So basically, I have kicked you to the hidden place. I could not even chase you there. Yeah, you did. It, he, I, I believe Cole did have to target the site, and he did. We accounted a blue dice for that, I believe, right? Uh, no. Did we forget oh, one blue dice? I, you know what? And we're going to roll it. Yeah, one blue dice. It's another times two, two. which means I would... <laughs> no, it's fine, it's fine. I can kill an additional warrior. Yeah, we could do if, it. If it would have been yeah, you must a two shield, I would have been in trouble. <laughs> I would have been in bad, bad trouble. Don't like it? Um, uh, the defenses of the slums have fallen. This is just... Isn't I, it two more? No, no, no. Because times two times two? It is times two times two. Oh, no. <laughs> one times two times two. <sighs> okay, one second. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to re-add up everything. <laughs> Horrible, horrible news, horrible news. Um, because I think Are I you need. Are sure now? I, I'm sure. I don't now. think you're you actually. Are. You're actually fine. Clay. Oh, flip the hidden place down. Oh. This is. I like how this camera over my shoulder. It's like the Richard the Third camera. Yeah, I should remember right. that. It's my little like. I'm taking my four favor back. Oh. That's right. That's right. Thank you in the stream for the uh, um, pointing out that he needed to target the site. As oh well. my gosh! I really thought you were cooking there. I thought I was. I was feeling pretty hot. Uh, your mercenaries don't leave you. I do lose half of my warbands. It's fine though. It's fine. It's fine. It's, fine. It, it's actually fine. <laughs> Unfortunately, because you put a coin on the mercenaries, I can't use them to muster. Yes, yes, yeah. there was a coin yeah, there yeah, from yeah, Discord. Yeah, yeah. Which is fine. Uh, I'm out. I'm out of stuff. So this is going to come to you, Andrea. I now, really a needed a you to. Andrea, do that. have you thought about joining up, becoming a citizen? Becoming a citizen? Yeah. Have you just thought about it? I mean, it'd be pretty cool. I you like, could have my I horse. I mean, I don't know about this. I mean, <laughs> I got one horse. <laughs> One horse is good. Yeah. <laughs> I, I would give you my drum that I had last game, mm -hmm. which will, after traveling, you get one war band, so you can just like bulk up. Just one war band for traveling? Yeah. Okay. Okay, you want to be a citizen? Yeah. All right, here we go. All so, right. gonna use um, my, I'm making my citizenship offer to myself, or not to myself, I'm using <laughs> my citizenship offer, citizen, my grand scepter, to offer citizenship to Andrea to help me in my plight. Um, now there's two of them. Okay, so I'm giving you that relic uh, from the reliquary, uh, and then I could also give resources, which I am not doing. Not doing. I, it'd be cool I don't if have you any. did. You I, have you know, one favor. 
You don't have to. My lat. <laughs> this is my kingdom for this horse. This is really what's happening. Here we go. Take that. Sick. <laughs> <laughs> tell that Andrea's a citizen. Like, I, I can't tell. Oh, yeah. There's no, a, I, here you go, Andrea. Oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's perfect. <laughs> now there's okay. two of them. This is, uh, okay. I'm right. just going to hang out here and in then, the slot. And uh, then swap your warband for a purple warband. Okay. And the one Does on this go yep, back it goes here? there, and the okay. one on your board. Is now purple. Goes there, too. And remember, at the end of the turn, you will be adjusting your... Supply to, to work, match to yours. Minus. Okay. Yep. And so let me actually check that right now. I have to reset my little supply. So it's 5, 10, 14. So but it's right fine there. where it's at right now. Yeah. yeah okay. Yeah, okay. yeah that, that happens, I believe, <coughs> at the end of your turn. Um, hmm. Let's see. How many, how many influence do you have? 2, 4, 6, 8, uh, 9, 10. 10 influence. Ten. But this doesn't reset. This doesn't Five. reset until the start of my turn, right? Five, six, seven. Okay. Six, seven, eight, nine. This there's nine influence on the banner. Mm. Okay. Or we're just nine, uh, we're just gonna keep searching this world deck. Three. Oh shit. Ooh, vision. I don't want this. Um. So I'll go ahead and slide. Yeah, that. move it up. I guess I'll swap this vision for the other vision. Wait, no, I should keep this vision. I think, right? Yeah. Uh, this is yeah. It's opinion. worth noting the yeah. succession condition is holding the darkest secret. Okay. All right. Yep. <laughs> we'll do one, two, three. <sighs> I'll really try and. Okay. And remember, as a citizen, right. you can't use a <coughs> vision to win. Okay. Then I will get but rid it's of. It's still nice to hold on to them. Oh, I shouldn't. I shouldn't dump them all in clays, huh? <laughs> all right. I'm gonna swap this face uh, down. I have the darkest secret, so it only costs me. Face down <coughs> one. For Andrea this one. couldn't take the darkest secret earlier for me because I was in. I'm a trusted gonna place. reveal horse archers. <laughs> so now it's, we're all about horses. All about <laughs> um, and I have two nomad, f nomad advisors, times <coughs> two, four, five. Mm -hmm. So that's ten influence plus the two on my board. Yeah. So I have twelve. You have twelve. So I will recover the people's favor. Well, let's do it. Bring it back to the big yeah. house. Love it. I will recover the people's favor. Okay, excellent. Okay. Do I... Uh, when does this... Do I update influence... At the start of your turn. At the start of my turn. Okay. That's my turn then. Okay. Okay. Uh, so Andrea changed what I'm going to do because now I was hoping to be usurper. I, uh, Andrea becomes oathkeeper, correct? Yep. Correct. Yep. I was. I was here. I had these grand plans of being the usurper at the start of my turn. Uh, so let's see here. Well, hmm. <laughs> I believe the first thing I'm going to do is attempt to banish the Chancellor out of the Great Slums. That's right. This is exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to spend two supply to campaign against the pawn. So you get two blue dice for the pawn. I do. Um, and then you are... Now, I'll have you know, I have fire talkers, so mm -hmm. I could use it to reduce the I'll dice. have you know, I have mercenaries, so Fine. I could use the mercenaries. <laughs> so, right. so, so anyway. Attacker first, you want yeah, to... Yeah, I will okay, activate mercenaries. <laughs> <fire talkers. laughs> okay, I believe you have three warbands, correct? I have three warbands, that's okay. right. Okay, okay. And I have one, two, three, four, so I'm going to roll uh, four, uh, okay. four dice. And I... Two. You're not Oath Keeper, so you don't get to it. I do have to target the site, so you get a blue dice for that as well. I have a question about yes. my, my trait. Yeah. So I have 
I have enough influence so, to maintain it. Yep. So as a minor action, you can, you can maintain okay. it. Once you start maintaining it, though, it's you won't be able to benefit okay. from it for the rest of the game. Okay. Uh, um, now they're saying I don't have to target the site, right? Okay. You do not have to target the site because I don't rule it. Because I own it. Yes, yes. That's why. Uh, okay. I want to check the Oathkeeper bonus. This is like uh, the Oathkeeper bonuses went back and forth a bunch of times, and I have to remember if the Chancellor all fo- benefits from it if a citizen has it. Uh, I have to double check though. I don't think so. It's a it, little little nook and cranny. I have to I have to stew on. Okay, here we go. So I'm gonna roll these dice. Go ahead, roll it up, Cole. Here we go. Let's, Let's do it. it. Okay, so Clay, you're coming at me with. A strength of three. Mm-hmm. I rolled a times two and a two, so I've got four. Oh, you rolled a times five, two and the two. Six, seven. No. <laughs> uh, so you're going to have a hard time getting to seven, which means you get defeated. Yeah. Lose half, lose half my war bands. Half your war bands. Okay. All right. So I'm I'm moving two back. Okay. Well, that was not nearly as successful as I had planned in my mind. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to reveal my face down advisor. And I'm going to play it to this site. Ooh, it's the portal, the, the fiery portal. portal. I will take a, a coin out of the arcane bank for that. And then I will immediately trade with the portal. I will spend a supply. And I will go ahead and put down a secret to gain two favor. There's only one left. Okay, uh, let's see. How much do I have? Two, four, six, eight, nine, nine. That's not enough, right? No. Nine is not enough. Okay. Um, I'm going to go ahead and travel then. I'm going to spend two supply to go ahead and travel up to the... Actually, it's three supply, so I have it, luckily. Three supply to go ahead and travel to the top of the hinterlands. Almost as if you knew. As if I knew. I'll take take the relic that goes there. And you're welcome to take a peek at that relic, of course. Yep, and that is the end of my turn. Okay, we come Two, four, six, eight, ten, to the 12. fifth turn, where we're going to start rolling that die if we can make it another round, but I, I like our chances. Mm-hmm. Andrew is in an excellent position. As long as I can keep the banner of the Darkest Secret safe, I can just I can keep this lovely crown on my head. Um, okay, now here's a point where, at the start of the game, I start having to ask myself how greedy I want to be getting, and I can look at my family traits. So if I win the game as the Chancellor, I will unlock my trait. This is a rare instance where my quest actually lines up perfectly. You, you two are supposed to get favor. Why? Because I took the sigil. Oh, oh yep, yeah, correct. Thank you, Thank you. Alpha Squid. Oop. Well, I'm getting closer. Yeah, that's, that's true. Um, <laughs> so because I have this little Oathkeeper, uh, my Oathkeeper quest, it actually aligns, it's a rare instance where the traits get aligned with the actual victory condition, and this is just to give them a little bit of extra stakes. Uh, If things get desperate in my fight (coughs) with Andrea for the Darkest Secret, I could become foolish uh, and just gain two secrets, so that's another thing that I might be considering. Um, I will also mention that I spent this uh, secret off turn on my Fire Talker, so I'm not going to get it until the end of the turn. So, priority for this turn is Start making money. Get get the engine back going here, uh, and maybe I should leave this godforsaken slum. slum. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna move back to the mountain. If you could move my pawn back to the mountain, where's the mountain? Right there. And I'm going to do that desperate thing reserved only for moments like this, which is search the world deck, and it costs me my bottom three supply, and I'm gonna hope for something good. Okay. You, you only needed to pay two, right? Uh, oh, yeah, because I have the Darkest Secret, so I still have one left. Yeah. Okay, well, this one right here could be very useful to me if things get a little touchy. Um, so I think I'm just going to keep this as a little ace in the, in the hole. We're going to keep that right there. It's not, it's not solving any immediate problems, but it might be the solution I needed. I'm glad to know that these two cards are in the game. So I'm going to put these out in the hinterland uh, discard pile. I have one more action left, and I'm going to use that action to 
I'm just going to save it. I'm going to save it. So that will allow me to go up to here and then plus one. Saving it because the supply save for the chancellor is a supply saved for everyone. Uh, by the way, as a loyal citizen, you also have an arcane advisor. Okay. Mm. So you have actually... Oh, the okay. Well, it's zero now, right it's now. It's zero right now, but j mean. just know that you have a very strong... Position. I got all my horses. I don't need magic. <laughs> <laughs> So does my supply move up, or does my supply match your previous supply? At the supply? end of your turn. Okay. At the end of your turn, okay. you will align it. Okay, okay. Um, at my wake, I will update my influence, and that is 12. Mm -hmm. So could you give me a five, please? Mm -hmm. Okay. I will... Trade with my best friend, horse, <laughs> and get <coughs> two secrets. Because now okay. I have, oh now I have these two, two horses. It's a, it's a problem. Uh, could you read <laughs> the power of a fast steed, Clay or Andrea? I can't read it. So oh, done. sure. Uh, it is spend no supply if you have three or fewer warbands on your board. Cool. So I just want people to know, like the horse we're talking about. That's the horse. <laughs> Uh, the roving terror. Ooh, ooh. So that was Can trade. I see the roving terror as well? I just want to. This is one of my favorite okay. cards. I just had to make sure that. And the, now, there was no now that your pawn is down here in the mountains, Cole, I will recover darkest secret as well. Oh my gosh! I felt right in the trap. And now, because now whoa. I have seven, but hate this. I'm gonna keep one because. Okay. I'm gonna okay. keep one just because. Okay, and you will get one from the top. Let's and then go. the rest hang Let's with me. Go. So I have three. Well, maybe I, maybe I play seven on there. You do. <laughs> See, and this is a good reason why we really want those five times secret markers for you wonderful Kickstarter backers who are allowing us to finally put five times now markers. Now I have everything. This is my Andrew, kingdom. It, it's our kingdom. I mean, it's I'm just happy. This is my kingdom. I'm just happy the kingdom I found, is, found it. It looks like future's future's bright. Um, I don't know. I don't know what I want to do. I have everything. Perfect. <laughs> Andrea's got <laughs> everything. I guess I'll trade, trade with the roving tear, get a favor. Okay. Um. And then I'll, I'll muster at a storyteller. <coughs> and then I get two <coughs> warbands? Two you of your warbands, right? Yep, you get two warbands. Here you are. Now, the problem that's confronting me, chat, is that I, in a normal circumstance, I would exile Andrea so fast. <laughs> I, I'd, get, I'd get some money and I'd just make it happen. The problem is, Andrea is in a better position to maintain control of the sigil of people's favor than I am, so I kind of need to keep my enemies close if we're going to keep the kingdom around. Uh, and I think, Clay, you're probably looking for a vision. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, you know what? I'm very tempted, Cole, by this uh, gift of secrets. So I might be trying to do that to set myself up for the next game. So let's see. Is it, is it my turn? Yeah, it's your turn now. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm out here hanging out in the hidden place. And I'm going to go ahead and search. I'm going to spend two supply to search out here in the hinterlands. So I'll take three cards. And let's see here. Da, 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 da. Okay, yes. So I'm ho I was hoping to draw one. I'm going to play The Gathering. And we'll discard this here. Okay, when played, any players in turn order may put their pawn on this site. Then players with pawns here may negotiate binding exchanges of favor, secrets, relics, and advisors. So if anyone would like to gather, they may, but I'm going to take a favor out of the the uh, bank, the nomad bank there. Hmm. Clay, clay, clay. Any you gatherers? It's okay. Uh, well, well, I'm thinking about it. We, we can exchange secrets in favor. Mm -hmm. And relics and even our advisors. Okay. Um, oh, wait, I, was I would... That's sell you these two secrets for your alchemist and two favor. 
two secrets for that. I will do it. Okay, bring me, bring me to the hidden place. Okay. So I get two secrets. Yep. Boop. You get an alchemist. Oh, wait. I don't know if I'm allowed to take it. Because I've got can a Can you auto-discard? I can discard a card if it's face down, mm -hmm. right? Yes. Um, uh, uh, this one. Okay. So I gained two secrets. And how much favor? Was it two? Uh, you gained two, yep. Or no, I gave you two? Oh, yes, correct. Sorry. Whoa, whoa, I almost talked my... <laughs> watch out. <laughs> It's clay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, 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 okay. All right. I'm going to spend two supply to search the hinterlands again. And let's see. I'm hoping to get a... <laughs> now, what I'm, what I'm up to over here is if I can get enough cash, I might be able to exile and win if the game goes long enough. So I'm kind of playing for bad. Oh, this here. is a site. Uh, I, I wanted an advisor. Do you, I realize do you it's need a site uh, only. Do you want to look at your other cards? Before no, you I will. Uh, yeah, let me look at those <laughs> two. I, w I wanted an advisor, but I really like the suit of that one. Uh, that's a bummer. Um, <laughs> okay, I'll take this as a face down one. Okay, um, and then I will, I tell you what, um, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to go ahead and trade, I'm going to spend one to trade with the Guardian, or with the Gathering, um, I, I'm going to go ahead and, oh no, that's not going to get me any, okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to, um, Basically, just search again. <laughs> oh, well, I get, I still get three, even, still get though, three. even though it's the vision. Mm -hmm. So, and maybe, maybe that'll be helpful. <laughs> okay, I'll go ahead and play this order card right there. Yep. And uh, the to the chat, the I'll bank. say that influence is actually used a lot in the trait cards and in some of the shadow denizens. So it's tied in with a bunch of new things. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and activate. Um, Oh, nope, that, that doesn't help me. That doesn't help. I'm not able to do this right now. So that is the end of my turn. Yeah, you got to find a site with that. Yep. yep. Okay. Now. Roll that die. We set back to four. I feel like you should. <laughs> but you're. Okay. But you're the okay. 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 I just, I feel like you usually, I like the player who would win. You have the official crown, though. I do have the official crown. Okay, here we go. Right, we're going to. And the roll is. Oh. <gasps> Six. And I what? win. And I win. <laughs> <laughs> that uh, didn't play out. How long <laughs> Why didn't you roll it? Okay. Uh, <laughs> okay. Burn the crowd. It's, 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 it's mine now. <laughs> <laughs> it's mine now. All right. So uh, that that happens. Oh, uh, my God. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm going to keep the cloak. The, the, the cloak. You can have this one. I would, <laughs> I guess I should, right? Yeah. <laughs> Properly in citizenry. Um, so, uh, let's talk a little bit about how this changes the rest of the game. So keep those cards out there, the Roman Terror and the Fast Seed and all that. Uh, so, we would get to the end of the game like this. Uh, and the first thing we do is take a look at our lineages. So I didn't take my curse. And so that just goes away. This trait that I have here which I'll just kind of show here. This is an immature trait. This is going to go away. Did anybody unlock their traits or maintain traits? I don't think so. No, I didn't mm. maintain it. Okay. So Can we do we have the option to do it right now? You, you have to do it before the end of the game. Before the end of the game. Okay. So, yeah. So this is a place, you know, you would have had to ma make a choice. On your turn, you could have done that, Clay. And actually, yep. But you needed those secrets to unlock. I was trying thing. to do this, and I needed right. that. Right. So you have to be a little, a little careful in that. Yep. So this, is a, th this was an ending that brought many family lines to a close. To a close yeah. Now we have these three cards, which are going to determine how the game is going to work. So uh, Andrea, because she's so stacked, is actually getting all three of these um, because she ha she won the game, has the people's favor, and has the darkest secret. Now that's somewhat common, and when that happens, um, the, you have to choose how these are going to be divided among the other players. Now with two players, we'll obviously have allowances that'll be able to sort sort through that. So which of the tasks do you want to do? Do you want to do foundations? Do you want to govern? 
or do you want to uh, choose which cards stay and which cards go? I'll do foundations. Okay, so Annie wants to keep with the foundations. Can I, can I continue ruling? Can I just, <laughs> can I do a little bit of governing? Yeah. Because you let me, you let me gain all these horses. Yeah, I let you do that. Okay, <laughs> so I, so I'll take that, and then Clay Clay will get to enact the people's will, and then we do this in order. Uh, the first thing that happens is the winner is going to govern. So you may recall that we had these cards over here. This was the kind of current government, uh, and boy, it was a useful government that we had. Uh, I'll stick this down a little. What am I doing? There we go. Okay, so the the choice that I make right now is. This little stack that we have right here, this is our current government stack. This card right here, um, and actually let me check something. I just want to make sure that I didn't mess this up. There we go. Oh, I see, right there. Um, so, yeah, sorry, I had the wrong one. Uh, this little stack right here, this is our current empire stack. I can choose to keep this card in the government, or I can choose to pitch it. If I pitch it, it's going to go out to the supply. I will then draw two cards from um, the unused government tiles and choose, do we want to put another arcane supporters in or a long piece? Now, this other arcane su supporters, you'll see how this is kind of like funny blood splatter on it. That means that even if I use it, it will still add shadow denizens into the world. So it's going to add shadow den denizens either way. My god, this would be the, us starting with two arcane advisors. I, this one is just going to give us more legacy points. Because these points are going to Andrea, I'm, I kind of like this one more. So that's going to go here, and then all these cards are going to go there. And we stick that right like that. Um, so that is the, the winner governs phase. The phase that Clay does is uh, the, the, the ma maintenance the of deck. the denizen deck. Now, we're not going to bother to do this right now, but I will describe basically how it's going to work. Um, currently, all the discards get gathered. And then instead of just taking six cards randomly out of the game, Clay's going to decide which cards are going to leave. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to be adding different cards to the, to, the, um, to the deck based on the status of the banks and Clay's personal preference. This is part of the design, by the way, that we're still like, actively working on. Because you know, if we're going to give players more control over the deck, we have to figure out how much more control we want to give them. Um, then we uh, go to Andrea. Let me add that. Uh, oh, will the expansion come with more favor tokens? Probably, but we're still figuring that out. And, and of course, if we add in more, we will make sure to put in metal coins in the deluxe component pack. Uh, we might just add like, th uh, like fives or three tokens too. We're not, we're not sure. Um, okay, so now Andrea gets to do uh, this one. Since I have seven secrets, there's four cards that get yep. drawn. So Andrea gets to be in control of the shape of the foundation of the game. So remember, this is a two-part step. Part one, based on the strength of the darkest secret, she's going to draw new foundations cards. Part two, she's going to pick the oath. Right, so that's her job. We've got four cards, and I'm going to go through Andrea's choices right here, although she, she could do this privately. You know, we, we're all sitting in the same room, but she would be in charge of choosing which one she wants. So Vision of Visions, this is the one that allows the person with the darkest secret to choose the order of the vision cards. The scepter breaks will remove the scepter from the game, so it stops the chancellor from adding citizens in play. Uh, Cult of Personalities. This one, you'll know, has a little blue box. Basically, uh, this is like a rules add, add in the game. Um, this doubles the number of war bands that every exile starts with, if you do mm. Cult of Personalities. Oftentimes, the player who's in control of the foundations didn't win the game, and so many of these things help the exiles out. And then the fall of the six houses puts the old people's favor back in play. Mm. Let's break the scepter. Let's break the scepter. Get rid of it. Uh, you don't rip it up, though. Because the scepter's that'd be, being broken. Because that'd be mean. So the scepter here is now gone. Whoop, it's over here. And now it's out of the game. So there's no way for citizens to be added into the game right now. So if I were to... And also no way for them to be necessarily exiled. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm just kind of a citizen until I... Decide to leave, yep. potentially. Um, and if I do, there's, there's no way back in until the scepter gets reforged. Now, when the scepter breaks, we would go through the unpicked foundations. This card is going to go out of the foundation deck. And then we would put the scepter reforged in the foundation deck. So now there's basically a, whenever you turn a light switch on, you have to put the off switch back in. Okay. And that is how that goes. 
Now, after we've done that, we would do a step where we would get to reform the map a little bit. We won't worry about talking about that now. Uh, but basically, it works the same way as the old map re reforming, uh, where sites that are ruled by the chancellor are going to kind of move up to the top. Sites that, are, that have a shadow denizen or a newly uh, ruined edifice are going to move away from the chancellor. They get, stay, they get held. And then the sites in the middle get filled with new sites. So in this case, this mountain is going to go away. The hidden place is going to go away. All those cards are going to get discarded. Uh, that can stay there. It's just an unknown card. And then we would put new cards out. We won't bother to do that right now, but just so you have a sense of how the board's going to change. Critically, that site at the edge, Clay's not going to hold control of it, but the mercenaries, the portal, and the, the, that shadow denizen are going to remain there for, for another game. Okay, and then lastly... Uh oh did I just lose my... I did. Uh, so that winds up the game. At the start of the next game, the very first thing that we would do is I would shuffle our eight card, or rather, Andrew would shuffle this eight card deck. We would it reveal it here. So one, two, three, four. This is what I'm talking about. Oh, Andrea, you would also get to pick the oath before you, you oh, okay. did this. So Andrea could say, look, I want to keep doing the people's favor mm -hmm. thing. You have lost your advisor, so you yeah. may not want to keep it. Yeah. Uh, whatever Andrea w w w would pick would be the new oath. And then going over here, Andrea, you'd be looking at, at these things. Now, this is interesting. So you are looking at, if you do all of these things, mm -hmm. you're going to extend the rule of the kingdom by another 10, 12, plus two for the edifice on the board, so 14 years. Mm -hmm. um, but you'll be adding one shadow denizen in. It's also worth noting that because there's a citizen in the game, and actually this should have the little citizen marker on top, uh, you may not want me also benefiting from three virtual advisors. Mm -hmm. So you can decide, like, okay, do I want to, like, bind my play position mm -hmm. really closely with, with mine? Um, if you choose to keep all these face up, you also will stop your ability to get new cards. So if you chose, for instance, to say, look, I don't want arcane supporters this time around, you turn these face down. At the end of next game, you can change your kingdom more quickly. Mm -hmm. That is going to put two new shadow denizens in play. But that, that's all stuff for next game. Right? We don't, you know, we'll, we'll just see what happens. Uh, we, might, we might continue this one in studio. Uh, and it would be, and, you know, it's Andrew's choice. And I would also have to lose my cool cape and curtain. Uh, those don't come with the game. Uh, <laughs> unless, unless this campaign goes real crazy. Uh, all right, well, thank you all for joining us on this Tuesday. Um, this was also uh, unintentionally a good example of how fast the three-player game is. When we were doing a lot of testing of Oath back in the COVID days, we would play like two or three games in a row because the three-player game is like breezy. Um, you will find that as you introduce some of the new features, they change the texture of the game pretty dramatically. The sigil of people's favor is just different than the banner of the people's favor. Um, and also, as you get to the end of the game, you know, the, the players are going to start developing different goals, which creates an end game that tends to be a little bit breezier than mm -hmm. the, previous, the, 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 the previous way the end game would unfurl. But hope that gives you a sense of how everything works. Uh, this Friday, uh, two things that I just want to note to everybody. Thursday night, uh, the submissions for the fan contest close. Make sure to get those in. Friday, we'll be doing a stream. We're going to be looking at them together and talking and just talking about Oath. Friday, we're also releasing the Foundation's uh, print and play. So you'll be able to explore some of the, these new concepts for yourself. And then next Monday, we have our last Kickstarter stream, or stream of, the, of this Kickstarter, where I'm just going to be talking about some back-end uh, de development stuff. And so it'll be hopefully a really good time. All right, well, thank you all. Have a wonderful day, and uh, we'll see you during the next rain. Mm-hmm, next kingdom. <laughs>